Hey guys, Matt here with Dutch Oven Today. Today, we are going big and we're going low and slow with some pulled pork from a whole pork shoulder. Man, this is going to last just me and my little family several days. So what I'm actually going to be doing is today, we're going to do our dry rub and we're going to do our cooking. Then for the next couple of days, we're going to be portioning out that slow roasted pulled pork into several different recipes and several different food genres. So welcome to Pulled Pork Week at Dutch Oven Today. All right, let's go ahead and start building our dry rub. Oh yeah. So we are going to start with brown sugar upside down. We're going to use quarter cup right there and then we're going to give a quarter cup of paprika it is a lot but I this is like the one dollar bottle at the store so it's okay and because we're doing this in a Dutch oven and we're not going to actually smoke it you know put it outside on a Cooker, I'm gonna just add a eh, capful or so of smoked paprika, just for a little extra oomph, a little extra flavor. We need an eighth, uh, eighth a cup of black peppercorns. I'm gonna eyeball that, and I'll add that last after I freshly grind it all. And where did I put it? There we go. We're gonna do a tablespoon or two of garlic. Get my drawer open. So I'm just gonna do a heaping tablespoon. Oops. Or like that. Overshoot. That's fine. And we're also gonna do a tablespoon or two of onion powder. Again dollar bottle next tablespoon or more of cayenne pepper cayenne is spicy so if you like things with a little extra kick you know go ahead and go more you know, you got people that are sensitive, go ahead, roll less. Gotta use my big container of cayenne pepper now. Bust this open. Should have planned ahead. But hey, this kind of stuff happens on Test Tuesdays, right? So because I already used about half a tablespoon, just gonna eyeball another half. quarter cup salt of course it calls for coarse salt I don't have coarse salt so I'm gonna eyeball just about eighth a cup of regular salt of course takes up more room which is why I cut it down for the finer salt next I'm just gonna mix this all together and we'll go ahead and rub it down onto our pork roast pork shoulder so here is our finished dry rub it smells it smells really good it smells almost like beef jerky actually uh, it's all that fresh black pepper and I've got this in a bowl and I'm actually going to heavily put you know put it on and now what I'm actually going to do this is a bone-in pork shoulder there's the bone right here. I am going to, you know, give a nice thick coating of the, the rub. And I'm going to, this bowl, it's got a lid. And we're going, I'm going to just put the lid on and let it kind of marinate overnight. 
in the in its in this dry rub. Okay. And while handling it, I remove my my ring, my watch, my you know paracord wrist armor, whatever you want to call it. And some people say you gotta rub it in, and I'm not, I'm just gonna let it sit. Um, I'm okay. And I got a little bit left. That's okay. I'm gonna set that aside. We're gonna give it a fresh coat tomorrow. So this is in the evening. I'm gonna let go till tomorrow morning. So it'll be about 12 hours. All right, guys. It's the next morning. I've got some charcoal going, and we're going to set up our roast or pork shoulder in the Dutch oven. So I come through my nasty mudroom to my garage fridge. Ah! Try not to hit the camera on the door. And it's dark. I'll turn so I got light on me. Okay, in here I've had my dry rubbed pork shoulder marinating all morning. All, all night. It is morning. And there goes my heater. <sighs> Let's just get to the action. Alright guys, get that out of the way. My messy, messy countertop. There is our dry rubbed pork shoulder. Got my Dutch oven. It's been re-seasoned just to make sure it's extra, you know, extra stick resistant. Oh. Oh, and this looks gorgeous. I'm just gonna pop it right in. And this side is the fat side. Break up these chunks of dry rub. Got a little bit more in the bottom of the bowl. I'm just gonna kinda grab it, slather it where I want. A little crack on this side, stick some in there. Okay. I've got coals heating. And we're going to use about 18 coals. And I'm going to be making a new batch every hour or so. This will give us continuous heat for a long and slow cooking. In the past I've done a campfire and just kept shoveling coals on. But I don't want to prep the wood for a fire. So I'm just going to roll the truck. So set the timer for 45 minutes. This will allow me 45 minutes of cooking time that I can walk away. And then, when the timer goes off, I'll go start the next batch of coals. When I get, put that back on the Dutch oven, then I'll start the timer over. Whenever I want to film, my neighbor is usually working out in his shop yard. Not that it's too bad. He's actually a good neighbor. It's just, you know, get machinery running when I'm trying to film. It's kind of inconvenient some days. All right, time to add our coals. Coal tongs. I'm gonna put four, maybe five on the bottom. Okay. Pour the rest on top. How many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve, thirteen, something like that on top. Again, we're going low and slow, so that's why we don't have as many coals as I usually do. Hopefully, this will be cooked in. Make sure we're in focus. Hopefully it will be cooked in two to three hours, going low and slow like this. All right, you probably are also hearing the wind. As soon as, it figures, as soon as I got started cooking, man, that wind really picked up and it's been making this charcoal just, whew, like, you know, get used up a lot faster than I thought it would. It's been four hours of cooking. I'm gonna give this a test. 
Yeah, I tried testing it a little bit last hour over there. I'm gonna try a different spot. And I'm just sticking my tongs in and pulling just to see if it'll kind of tear and open up. And it does. So I'm gonna let this rest. This black part, don't worry about that. It was just close to the lid. And this is actually that fat cap that was on the top when we started cooking. And that's going to get peeled off uh, before we pull the pork. So let's go ahead. I'm going to let this rest for about half an hour. Let the, all the juices do their thing. Let some carryover happen. And then we'll go ahead and try to shred this. All right, guys. We brought it in. And again, it's time to pull this pork. I've let it cool just a little bit. See this kind of blackened bit? That was the fat cap. And if we do things right, get some tongs, a little fork here. We're just going to peel that right on off. The, any real good fat that was in there would have you know, melted down, kind of basted the meat. A lot of it's the sauce down here. So don't worry. Don't think of it as losing anything. Because that's not something we were going to want to eat anyways. Alright, now to pull it. I'm going to switch hands here. Just grab what you can and peel it off. Now, see how it's just kind of Pulling there, I'm just gonna push and turn, push, turn. We're just gonna keep this up until you know I'm ready to to go. Until it's thoroughly shredded. Now this could have gone a little longer, probably softened up a little more. That's okay. And if we've got to eat it chunk style that's also a popular barbecue if we got to slice it that's cool too but man this is going to be some good good eating might have a little bit of luck down here on the bottom yeah see how that's just going in and shredding i'm just going to keep that up until we can pull the bone right on out so here it is, it took oh, it took a while to get this broken up and you still see I have a couple big pieces, but otherwise, it's time for dinner. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. We'll be using this, like I said, in my intro, a good chunk of the week. Make things like pulled pork tacos, pulled pork sandwiches, Maybe even pizza or something. Mmm. That's good. Right, catch you tomorrow. And never miss an opportunity to improve. Hey guys. Matt here with Dutch Oven Today. Why am I saying that again? This is a continuation, not a new video. Cut.